We're asking questions after heavy flaring at a facility in Mont Bellevue near Baytown. The flare is coming from Chevron Phillips plant. That's where we find ABC 13's Tom Abrams with an update on what happened, Tom. Well, Eric, the flares are still happening. This is the latest here from Baytown, but the black smoke that we saw throughout much of the day essentially is gone. Next, we will see large clouds of steam as the plant fully comes back online. Now, this started around 9.15 this morning when the power went out. Centerpoint says a third-party contractor damaged a transmission line at Highway 146 and I-10 about a mile from this location. It then took about an hour and 15 minutes for the plant to regain power. And while there was no formal evacuation, we did see workers at the plant following safety precautions. They moved to parking lots and they were inside and outside the fence line of this large property here in Baytown. Harris County says there is no environmental impact or threat to the public, despite those flares which release pressure and burn off excess chemicals. As for Centerpoint, we checked their outage map here late this afternoon, and we've seen that essentially all of the power is back on. There were some 17,000 different customers who were without power, not just including this plant, but the power again restored. Reporting live this afternoon from Baytown, Tom Abrams, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.